configure SSH S1 on VLAN 1, IP address 10, 10, 10, 2. PC1, IP address 10, 10, 10, 10. SSH would replace Telnet for management connections. Telnet uses insecure plain text communications. SSH provides security for remote connections by providing a strong encryption of all transmitted data between devices. Secure passwords. Using the command prompt on PC1, Telnet to S1. PC1, desktop, command prompt, Telnet the IP address of S1, 10, 10, 10, 2. 10, 10, 10, 2. Um, the user exec and privileged exec password is Cisco. Okay, Cisco for user exec, enter, enable. Password for privilege exec password is also Cisco. Enter. Very good. Save the current configuration so that any mistakes you might make can be reversed by toggling the power for S1. Okay. Copy running config to startup dash config. Enter. Enter. Very good. Show the current configuration and note that the passwords are in plain text. Show running config. Okay, the enable password uh, in plain text. BTY passwords in plain text. Enter the command that encrypts plain text passwords. Configure terminal. Okay. On global on global configuration mode. Service password dash encryption. Enter. Very good. Verify. And show running config. Enable password encrypted. BTY passwords encrypted. Encrypt communications. Set the IP domain name and generate secure keys. Okay, it is generally not safe to use Telnet because data is transferred in plain text. Use SSH whenever it is available. Configure the domain name to netacad.pka. Configure terminal. On global configuration mode, IP domain dash name netacad.pka. Enter. Secure keys are needed to encrypt the data. Generate the RSI keys using 1034 key length. Crypto key generate RSA. Enter. 1024. Create SSH user and reconfigure the VTY lines for SSH only access. Create an administrator user with Cisco as the secret password. Username administrator. And the secret password is uh, Cisco. Enter. Very good. Configure the VTY lines to check the local username database for login credentials. Line VTY. Zero to fifteen. Okay. Zero to four, five to fifteen. Zero to fifteen. Enter login local. To use local database, the local username. Enter. Only allow 
SSH for remote access. Transport input SSH. Remove the existing BTY line password. Okay. Okay. There is a password configured. Uh, this password is Cisco. And use the no um, password Cisco to remove that command. Enter. Exit. Then verify. Exit the Telnet session and attempt to log back in using Telnet. The attempt should fail. Okay, this is PC1. And exit. Enter, exit, enter. Okay. Try to use the Telnet connection again. Enter. Connection to 10, 10, 10, 2, close it by host. Attempt to login using SSH. Type SSH and press enter without any parameters to reveal the command usage instructions. SSH enter. Okay, use SSH command L for a username and the target IP address. The L option is the letter L, not the number one. Okay, SSH option L, the username, remember the username, administrator, administrator. Administrator, um, IP address of the switch, and, and password is Cisco. Enable Cisco. Very good. Save configuration. Um, privilege exit mode. Save configuration. Privilege exit exit mode. And save configuration. Copy running config to startup dash config. Enter. Enter. So thank you very much. One hundred percent.